call the meeting to order. Um, we have to sign in, right? Because we're on Zoom. I don't know. Do I remember? So we'll just go through uh, uh, those in attendance. Uh, Russ Anderson. Richard Stefanowitz. Jen Willard. Jason Perlman. Sabrina Pooler. Rhett Banish. John Kane. Randy Brown. Cecil Lewis. Ian Watt. Nina Barsh. And Jess Bishop coming in the door. Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> any old business? Oh, well, first of all, acceptance of the minutes. Those were not everybody get them. Did I entertain a motion to accept? There were two corrections made in the minutes. Um, one was on the time related to AM, and PM and military time. Those corrections have been made, and there was a spelling error that Sabrina pointed out. So dilution was actually dilation. dilation. So that's a big difference. So those changes <laughs> have been made. All righty. Can I have an ex a motion to accept with changes? I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as chair. And then we have a motion and a second. I'll second. Motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Russ Anderson, aye. Richard Spinnowitz, aye. Ed Willard, aye. Jason Crone, aye. Sabrina Fuller, aye. Rep Banish, aye. John Kane, aye. Randy Brown, aye. Um, I think those are the official numbers. All right. Old business. Any old business? I have something real old. Um, <laughs> remember way back we did the, the the tabletop and we talked about getting a radiation detector for the um, transfer station. Did that ever happen? I know you priced it, but we never. I don't think I heard that one. Remember what the prices were? That was a few years ago. Hundreds, though, wasn't it? No. Yeah, I don't think it was thousands. It was hundreds. Okay. Um, I don't think. <laughs> um, I can check. Yeah, I'm sure you wouldn't know by now. Um, any other old business? I don't know if it's old business, but something I wanted to bring up was um, talking about how to clean up code red, especially old contacts and code red. I, I don't know who or how is the best way, but probably this group might be as the best as, as any out there. That's why all of us are involved in code at some at some level. So. I can tell you half of those contacts are no good, at right. least half. We talked about it when we met with her on this committee. We talked about purging that system, mm. didn't we? I think we did. I don't know how, I don't know who was an administrator. Like, I, I know I think I'm I am and Richard. Yeah. Um, I can talk to the girl that we had that yeah, in Jacqueline. and see what, what we have to do. Because I know we talked about that. Yeah. But I don't remember what's the a way to look for inactivity or something. Yeah, because no one has hard lines anymore. No. Right. I know we did talk about there being like a one time purge where it, I think she they, said when they would do it. When, when we, we do an all call. When we were gonna we do, were an, gonna all do call. an all call and then anyone that got unanswered, like a, a dead ended, was going to be removed. But I think it was only a one time thing. Okay. okay. So that would be that would be good to bring up because I'm gonna be doing a couple all calls for motocross and mm -hmm. Iron Man and some other stuff too. So are you getting complaints or is it just I did a call raw the other day and I looked at the call list and I saw a lot of names and I'm like, that's not even right. We all know they're out there. So okay. I, I think it just we talked about it as a group before. That's why I'm, I'm bringing it up today. Got and it. I haven't gotten any complaints though. No. And I think we talked about um recruiting people to you know, like doing a Putting something in an envelope or something. Yeah. Are we doing to a get some, or right, something? To, just a notification to say, do you want to add yourself to this list? This is how you do it. We right. did add to the to the website. We did do some of that. So I, when I do it projects, didn't go out in the water bill, didn't it? No. When I do like paving projects, I send a letter to all the property owners and butters. I say, you know, here's the project, and I also tell them, here's code red. And like I will send out future notices via code red, and here's how to sign up. So I, that's a good way I think to get people to sign up. But I'm targeting. Neighborhoods, you know, not the whole time. Okay. I'll see where we end up. I got notes on that somewhere. So maybe we could add that to the next mass mailing or whatever it might be. Yeah, whether it's water bill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some of that. I'll have to check. My my next item is we have a line item. Um, because you going in the tax bill, water bill, there's a fee to it. Yeah. Well, because it's backed by somebody else. Yeah. yeah. So, and I'm trying to remember what we, we, we sent something out. Remember what it was? I thought it was code red. It might have been. Or was it the, no, no, the, fire, no, the fire department recruitment. So is that, yeah, that's what it was. A couple of years ago. That yeah. costs. 
1500 bucks or something. Yeah, yeah um, we're going to be fine. Yeah, we'll, I'll follow up with where we were. Can we put it on the town crier sign? And it has been on in the past. It has. Yeah. Um, we get more people coming off of it than they do going yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it might be laborious, but if we could get a print out of all the addresses and the names and maybe compare that to an assessor's list and just go street by street, you know, just, you know, one at a time. Okay. We know anybody have an entry coming here. up? Uh, <laughs> Problem is the cell phones are mobile, you know, so you don't really know but what it's they associated live. with an address, though. It has to be. Uh, uh, you do your, right. your polygon, the bio, or whatever. It yeah. Is yeah. And yeah. You got the name and the address, so you can match it up to an assessor's sure. database. Let me see where we ended up. I know she talked about it in that meeting. Um, I can go back and watch the tape and see what she said. And we'll, we'll move on that to get it cleaned up. You want it cleaned up before Mother Cross is possible. I think it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's going to go out, it's going to go it's out, go but it, that's the opportunity to see where, you know, what numbers are good and what numbers Jeff are just sent, good. Jeff just sent it out for voting, too, so we can see what failed on that. Yeah, that was just yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Is there a cost per I call? No. So there's yeah. not an overall package for the Yeah, you, you can do as much as you want. Well, I mean, like per. No. Oh, no. No. Uh, anything else under old business? Okay. Under new business, that was one of the, the issues that we have a, a line item of about $3,000 for LEPC that hasn't been spent to date. So one of the thoughts I had was um, we do not own any satellite phones that I know of in the town and should so go out regular phone goes out, everything goes out, we have no way of communicating with anybody. So I didn't know if we should have a couple cell phones, satellite phones, you know, available for us for town operations. And Nick, do you have any? So actually, in... I'm going to be, I'm looking back at my notes from, um, I sat on Borsak, um, the Western Region Homeland Security Council. Um, and I also sit on Limerick, which is the interop committee. Um, and they just granted Franklin County a satellite phone, and I think it was a lot more than three thousand dollars. So packages I've checked weren't, but you know I don't know what I'm getting either. But they, but so if, if you guys don't have the funding for it, that's always an option too. Um, okay. Is 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 through Homeland? Through Homeland. Yeah. Hmm. What's folks' thoughts on that? I mean. Is it a one-time fee or are there recurring annual costs? I'm sure there's annual service fees. You know, it's a it's a product, you gotta buy the product, and I'm sure there's a service fee at some point. How long is it be budgeted future and budgeted? Probably, yeah. Yeah. So I wonder if it's set up like cell phones where they sell you the device for nothing because they get you on the service plan and everything else on the cell satellites are the same way. Because then if you're buying something for public safety, maybe it's not related to a maintenance fee or a service fee. And that might be the difference too, is that you have to get a public service cell, you know, sat phone, mm -hmm. not just a, like say a regular commercial. It could be two different levels. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. gonna make it more expensive because of the back the guarantee the or the service and all that. Yeah, yeah I don't know. And, it, and I might be able to inherit the annual fees under emergency management expense mm -hmm. under already a line item. So. But, How long do they last for? Uh, two years, then you get a new one. So yeah. you, or your kids get free. Free. And, you keep using and they the get free Disney one. tickets or something. Yeah, like yeah. Um, un unaware of what that is, it's kind of one of those things you, you when you need it, you need it. But so yeah. if we were to purchase it, it would have to go to a one of the departments, right? To have yeah. so access to, to a police department, and then or maybe to the senior emergency maybe management. The emergency management. Either way, if something was gone, that's yeah. You're if you're going to need it, we'll be involved. Yeah. So yeah. If there is a line item that you guys can cover the maintenance fee on it. That might yeah. be, you know, we could buy it and then, you know, assign it to that. Do Do you want me to explore it with within that price range, or how do you? Yeah, so I'm just then, pulling up a couple packages right now. I put in for municipal government ones. The higher end ones are in the twenty five hundred three that right in that range. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, this one, uh, I mean, I mean, I'm just looking online just to look it up, but phone with, uh, three, you know, 300 minutes of in plan and voice messaging global coverage is 2135. So, yeah, the the ones I were all kit 
you know, ready to go. Um, and I can check with Mike Gerard with MEMA to see too. If, yeah, is this a renewal like every year line item? To buy like the equipment wouldn't be, but the service property. No, I mean the three thousand dollars no. that's rolled over that's been in the budget. Yeah. Okay. So you buy one and then buy yeah. another one, you know, next year or something like that. Or maybe yeah. one of the other departments buys their own. It could be. Yeah, yeah I think it's yeah. just yeah. something to explore. So I know that Homeland Security um has money and they're looking for smart ways to spend that money and they they prefer regionalized purchases and things like that. Is that something we should look at regionally? So that our mutual aid partners have the same capabilities, an option, yeah. Yeah. and ultimately that's what you are looking for to have sure. communication. Mm -hmm. So it's cheaper than anybody that could write a grant for us. <laughs> be able to find a funder. Yeah, right. I think it's worth pursuing that way because they won't say no. To that. They have a lot of money they're trying to spend. Yeah. Right, you just right. took out Russ is trying to spend money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. What's the group's decision? What do you want to do? I like the idea of the SAP phone. You know, if we can look at it, if the LATC can cover it or Homeland, you know, some big thing. But well, we could still get one and then go for grants for, yeah, I think we should look at You know, because if something happened, police are going to need one, town halls are going to need one, you know, everybody's going to need one. Yeah. At some point. Yes. Uh, it was approved for $5,600. Right. Um, and that included equipment, cable, insulation, um, and 500 units of airtime. A one phone or multiple that was phone. one what kind of installation um i i think it's so they, they were putting this in the uh, communication command post um oh, so it's like a hard almost a hard command center so I, yeah i'm guessing it was, it's not affordable it's probably a bigger amount of unit. I'll research one if that's sure. Well, you want to go with it yeah and yes i'm sorry it does say it's a mounted phone it has better coverage than a handheld phone okay Probably yeah, outside in town. Yes. Minutes is that in like lifetime, <laughs> or is that like a yearly thing? Well, I don't know. Okay. That might be something. Like if you have three hundred minutes. Yeah. That might be yeah. not enough forever. But if it's no. every year, you have to. Yeah, if you're in an emergency, that's not a lot of money. Feel like you're Walmart. I'm guessing it's yeah. probably going to be every year. Otherwise, yes. Yeah. yeah. I'll research it and then use that budget and then explore the grants for get sure. those for departments. Sure. That's I have a phone call with Mike Gerard later today. I can ask him to okay. send us some recommendations on it. I'm going to be back and share with someone like that. Okay. Cool. Any other new business? All right. Um, so I want to, we're going to do some contingency um, planning in relation to the motocross. Did you get my packet? I did. Okay. Um, but for doing so, we need to go into executive session under section four. Uh, discuss deployment of security personnel devices or strategies with respect here to for uh, motocross national contingency planning only uh, to not reconvene an open session but I have a motion to go into executive session I'll make that motion I'll second it a motion and a second we need to take a roll call vote Russ Anderson aye Richard Fano it's aye Jen Willard yes Jason Perone, aye. Sabrina Fuller, aye. Red Banish, aye. John Kane, aye. Brady Brown, aye. Sixty Lewis, aye. Okay, with all that, we'll be going into executive sessions. Yeah.